Hi, my name is Ian Ryan and I am an AWS Solutions Architect. Today I'm going to be taking you through a demo which we are doing for showing how to use generative AI to make the queue selection in Amazon Connect. So starting with this flow in Amazon Connect, let's look at how it's actually going to work. Initially we do basic things such as setting the logging behavior and setting the voice. And then immediately we're going to try and get some input from the customer. In this case, we are asking them an open-ended question, where we welcome to the contact center, and then we ask them, how can we help them today? The response from the customer, which is captured by the select spot, is sent through to this Lambda function. The Lambda function then invokes the generative AI. In our case, we are using ChatGPT. And the Lambda function sends through all of the information about our queues, as well as what the customer said. We then ask the AI to decide which is the best queue for that customer. If the AI returns and it says that it doesn't have any additional questions, then we would just transfer them straight through that queue. If the AI returns and says it has additional questions because it wants to disambiguate around which queue they are going to go through to, we then call our LexBot again to get more input from the customer. This would be prompting them with the question that the AI wanted to ask at this point. We then send a response, which the customer said, back again to the AI. And at this point, we loop around and we see, does the AI have any more questions? If it does, we would loop around again and ask them again, and so on, until eventually there are no more questions, and so we know which queue to transfer them to. So what is really interesting about this solution is the way that we configure the queues. So all that we need to do here, in Amazon Connect itself, we provide a simple English description of the queue. We simply describe what this queue is for, or perhaps what type of agents are going to be attached to that queue. And we do this all in natural language. This is what is going to be passed through to the AI. And this is what the AI uses to work out which queue it should be sending the customer to. So if we wanted to add more queues to our contact center, we simply add them here, add a new description to it, and then the AI would automatically be able to route to that queue. There'll be no changes to any other flows. So let's try a really simple example. We'll call into our contact center and we'll ask it a pretty direct question. Welcome to Ian's test contact center. Please tell me how I can help you today. I want to know the balance on my current account. Transferring you to general banking inquiries. Okay, so that was a very simple example where we very specifically said exactly what we wanted to do. So we wanted to check the account balance. And so the AI knew exactly where it should be sending us. It should be sending us general banking inquiries because that is the queue which is used for checking account statuses such as balances. Now let's do a more complex example where we actually ask it a bit more of a vague question. Welcome to Ian's test contact center. Please tell me how I can help you today. Yeah, I have a question about business banking. Sure. Could you please specify if your question is about business accounts, merchant services, commercial loans, or payroll services? It's actually about my credit card. Thank you for your clarification. Could you specify if your question is about your application status, balance inquiry, dispute, or reward program? I want to increase the limit on it. Transferring you to credit card services. So there we had an example where I did a couple of disambiguation questions and narrowed it down to exactly where I was going. To really show how dynamic this can actually be, let's actually add another queue at this point. Okay, so let's try calling the solution again now that I've added this new queue. Good 
Welcome to Ian's Test Contact Centre. Please tell me how I can help you today. I have a question about my credit card. Can you please specify the issue with your credit card? Is it about a lost card, fraudulent activity, credit card application status, balance inquiry, or a dispute with charges? I think I've lost it. Transferring you to lost credit cards. So what we saw is that when we added this new lost credit cards queue, the AI automatically started prompting us for more disambiguation questions about this potential queue. And this is the whole idea around this solution, is once this is in place, all you need to do is you add queues, add descriptions to the queues, and the AI just works out where to route your customers. So that's for this demo. Make sure you read the blog post as it goes into a lot of detail about what we're actually doing in this demo, and also subscribe for updates.